when you install a Linotech TCP IP device, you can easily access this device in your network by using the Discover program. But if you want to control the device over the internet remotely, you need to port the device. Today, I'm going to show you how to port a device to the internet. So we log in to the device, go to network configure. Here, you need to set the host name, port number, and IP address. So first, we uncheck this enable. DHCP. You need to give your device a unique name. So we say NetBear2. And to set the port number and IP address, you need to go to your router. To go to your router config page, you need to know the router IP address here. We use an AT&T. AT&T like to put the IP address as two five four. Most router address is one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one. But the IP address could be anything. If not of this, check the site of your modem for IP address. Here we come to the router page. First, we need to check an IP range for your available for your device. So we go to Home Network DHCP. Here you can see the DHCP v4 star address is 64. So we need to set a lower IP address for this device. So we need to set IP address 50. And then we need to go to firewall and gaming or porting. Different router have different name, but in this case, my router is not gaming. So on this page, you go to custom service. The service name is your device name. We ju just set Nebula 2 and global port range. The global port range, you need to stay away from some standard port, such as A0. So we try a higher number, say like 9100. Here is 9100. And base host port is the same, say the same. And protocol, you have TCP, uh, both TCP and UDP, so we select both, and then we add. So here we have the port number for this device. So we copy the, the port number and put it here. So after you set this, the port number, you need to tell the router the device port number. So we go back to the gaming and select from the service NetBear 2. Let's find the NetBear 2. Okay, here's NetBear 2. And needed by device is this device server. So we click add. So, but this way you have told the router your device port number. And then we click save config. After you save config, your connection is lost. So you have to use the port number to get it back. You can click here and then you get it back. Nebula 2 and you log in. Password, username, and password. Okay, so we have set the port number. If your IP address changes, but most home network have that. 
dynamic IP address that do change, then you need support of a DY DNS service. Here I will show you how to use DY DNS service. So we go to configure dynamic DNS. Here you check use DDNS. And from the DDNS service, we have three drop down selections for you. So for the first one, DYNDS. This is a pay service, and we have been running here for years without issue. And the second one is no IP, it's a free service. So I will use this service as an example to show you. So we go to no IP website. Before using their service, you have to create an account. So I have my account here. So you just log in. And when you log in, manage host. And then we need to add a host. Here, the host name or device name is Nebel2. Two. Two. And you don't need to do any change. The IP address is the IP address we just said is, um, is here. This is the IP address. So we copy and paste the IP address here. And then we Add host. Okay, <coughs> the, your DDNS IP address. You copy this and paste to the dynamic. So we go back here. No IP and username. We need to type your DD. Uh, no IP username here and password paste the no IP host name here and then save config so your setting have been up saved and now we log out to the device and then here you can see you already set the port number so now you can access this device from anywhere so copy and paste this IP address here and add the port number so now this is your unique IP address that you can access from anywhere So we log in, everything the same, and this is your unique IP address. Do remember to add the port number so that you can access. Okay, that's the how, that's the introduction how to port a uh, Linotec TCP IP device to the internet. If you have any question, you can contact. Uh, through our website at www.linotech.com or you can email us at marketing at linotech.com. Thank you. Bye-bye.